Welcome back to the channel, Marjoran Kilio. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. So today we're going to be doing some upgrades to this Floyd Rose setup on my uh, Nash S81 that I just got. So a brief background on this guitar. I got this guitar, oh gosh, maybe a couple weeks ago. I was looking for something that was like a really cool 80s throwback kind of shredder guitar with a Floyd Rose. And it came with a, a pretty nice uh, Japanese Goto Floyd. It also came with this uh, a trim stop device which kind of locked the trim so you couldn't pull up you could only dive but you could obviously take that out and uh, use it fully floating um, what i did was actually i installed one of these tremol nose and if you've uh, followed me for a while or been in my uh, saturday live stream i was talking about this and i haven't done a video about this yet maybe i will in the future but the key to a floyd rose setup for me at least is whenever you change strings or change tunings or change string gauge the key to doing that is to block off the tremolo meaning you don't want it to be able to dive forward or pull back you want it totally stiff and the easiest solution for a lot of people is to just shove everything from coins to guitar picks to to business cards in here to keep it from moving. Um, I wanted something a little more refined and the Tremel No actually allows you to go from totally floating or you can lock it in one direction so it's dive only mode um, or totally lock everything so it's um, blocked off. But initially, and I talked about this uh, on one of my Saturday live streams, is when I first installed it, it was uh, not returning to fully zero when I was uh, in full floating mode. Uh, but thankfully, one of uh, my subscribers, Randy, told me the the fix to that, or the reason that it was doing that was because my the bracket, the tremolo bra bracket, was uh, not perfectly parallel to the body. So that was making it kind of bind, making the tremolo um, kind of bind and catching whenever I would let's say pull up on the bar, it wouldn't return back to zero totally. Anyways, I was complaining on my live stream that it wasn't wor working properly, but uh, Randy definitely helped me out, so thank you, Randy. Um, and now, now it's working pretty good. Uh, I did lube it up a little bit with some silicone lubricant. But one thing that I wasn't really digging was the trim itself, the Godot trim itself. It was staying in tune okay, but um, the way that this design is, which is kind of like a standard Floyd Rose design, you know, it was kind of getting in the way. The fine tuners were kind of getting in, in the way with my hand. It wouldn't have been an issue had I not had my other Floyd Rose guitar, this uh, Music Man JP16 John Petrucci model. Now this actually has a real Floyd Rose branded uh, trem. This is actually the low profile uh, FR1000 Pro series. Um, and this by far is like the best Floyd Rose trim setup that I've ever used. It stays in tune perfectly. I don't have a, a tremolo no installed on it, just three springs. But um, if you can tell on this design, hopefully you can tell that they actually moved the fine tuners all the way to the back and recessed them down a little bit. So it's not in the way of my hand. I think the overall um, footprint of the tremolo is a lot lower than a typical Floyd Rose style setup. And this is kind of what I wanted um, to put on the pink guitar. So I jumped on the internet and I bought a new Floyd Rose for the pink guitar. Unfortunately, it seemed that everybody was out of the all black trim. So I got a chrome uh, low profile version, which it doesn't bother me. Like when I think about Floyd Rose guitars in the 80s, they were kind of all pieced together and a lot of times it was just a chrome Floyd Rose bridge. But I also, at the suggestion of uh, many of you, uh, checked out this company called Futone or F-U-Tone. So F-U-Tone, I believe, is known for uh, making upgrades to Floyd Rose setups. So what I bought to further upgrade my setup was one of his brass blocks. This, I believe, is a 36 mil. So if we compare it to the stock block that comes with my Floyd Rose, you can see that it is way bigger. Uh, and what it does, uh, apparently it improves sustain and probably tone, I would think, but definitely I'm interested in the uh, increased sustain because a lot of the problems with the way that the strings lock on top and not through the body, 
Um, you do lose a little bit of sustain. So I'm curious to see if this uh, really improves that. And I also got a set of these springs. These are their uh, noiseless springs. So they're coated, they're springs and they're coated with something, some special paint or something that uh, prevents them from creaking and making extraneous noises that you don't want uh, coming from the back of your guitar. He makes all kinds of uh, tensions. I think these are the standard tension, the green ones. But check them out. I'll put a link down in the description for FU Tone. So let's get started with this upgrade. Oh, and before I do the upgrade, I did record some sound clips uh, using the original Goto Trem. So at the end of this video, we can compare the sonic differences between having this setup, which is the Japan Goto uh, with the standard block and two springs um, and compare it to the new Floyd Rose with the FU Tone stuff. So first things first, we're going to loosen the nut, loosen the strings, take off the strings. I'm actually going to keep the uh, Goto studs in just because they're already in and I know these can kind of be a, a pain in the butt to uh, get in and out. So now what I have to do is I have to take the bridge apart so I can unscrew the original block and replace it with the, uh, the big brass FU tone block. Okay, so according to Adam at FU Tone, he said that this piece, this piece bracket, you don't need to use. It's a tone sucker. So I'm going to go on his word and not include this when I uh, put it back together. So you want to make sure that the block is correctly oriented. So the, uh, the holes are kind of more on one side and that side has to be towards the, uh, the neck. So I'm going to put it pretending that's the next side. Tension mount, the tension bracket thing. So I actually did end up keeping the metal bracket on because when I screwed on the block, because of the design of this particular Floyd Rose model, um, the block is slightly bigger than it should be and it was uh, banging up against this uh, tension bracket here. So that little couple millimeters of the that metal bracket um, lowered it enough to where the block actually sits a little bit straighter. I don't know if you can can't really tell but uh, it seems to fit a little bit better um, on this particular model. All right we're going to put the saddles back in. Same order. The saddles are back on. So one thing that I failed to take into consideration is the size of the tremolo and the size of the brass block. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, uh, this is not going to fit this brass block. So I will probably have to buy a new tremolo to fit this one. So in the meantime, I'm just going to put the springs on regular which means I have to put the uh, change the claw out, which is no problem. These come out pretty easily. That's not cool. I got the trem on, I changed the strings. Uh, because I couldn't use my tremolo, no, um, I kind of MacGyvered a way to block it really quickly with just some old business cards, so I blocked it. Here, 
uh, in depth over on top here. So it's not going anywhere. This is the key to setting up uh, the Floyd stuff. So I'm gonna tune it to pitch right now with the tremolo blocked off. I got them all tuned up and stretched out. Uh, this is still totally blocked off uh, and it's sounding, even acoustically, I can definitely tell a difference in the sustain and the way it's ringing. I should point out that I do have light gauge strings on this. This is like 9 to 40 to Dario NYXLs and it's tuned down uh, a half step to uh, E flat as well as the action being pretty low so it's not going to sound that great acoustically but it's super comfortable. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the card so I'm unblocking the tremolo. The guitar is going to want to go out of tune. It's probably gonna go flat a little bit. And what you wanna do is you want to adjust the tuning um, of your A string, of your fifth string, uh, just by manipulating the uh, screws of the claw to move the trem a certain way. So you're not even going to touch the tuning pegs. Notice I also don't have the locking nuts uh, brackets on right now, so everything is uh, going to be unlocked. Perfectly in tune. Take the cards out here and the cords out here. Ooh, yes. So now that's like super flat. That's like a whole step flat on uh, the low string, but what we want to use is the A string as our guide. Now I'm going to be tuned to um, G sharp, A flat. So I am at G right now, so I got to crank the uh, trem up a little bit, and I can already see that the, the, the trem is tilted towards the neck more, so I'm going to tighten it up. Just going a little bit at a time and making sure the claw is parallel. Now the thing is, we just concentrated on that one string, but technically all of the strings should be back in perfectly in tune, so let's check. Not bad. I could go a little bit more fine-tuned. That's pretty close. And the, I don't know if you can see, but the tram is pretty much perfectly parallel to the body. So this This is where I'm pretty much going to leave it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten down the nut now so it's locked from the nut to the bridge and then I'm going to fine tune it just using the fine tuners. Knock on wood, it should stay in tune. This is just a test through my computer uh, before I plug it into my uh, rig for the A-B test. That sounds great. <laughs> just that chord alone. Rings way better and more in tune, actually. It almost seems louder. Like the guitar seems a little bit louder. So here's the real test. Um, I'm going to wiggle the wiggle stick. Hey! Yes, it's operating the same way as my Music Man uh, guitar with the same tremolo. Uh, it feels exactly the same, which is what I was hoping for. The springs are the perfect amount of tension. Um, they're pretty on the loose side. I know a lot of people go for the red ones, which is a, a tighter uh, feel. This I, I like, three of the green ones. Um, I think that's perfect. The, uh, the studs seem to be holding and it hasn't gone out of tune. This is amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my live room, plug it into the exact same amp sounds that I had when uh, I had the, uh, the old Goto tram on and we're going to uh, A-B them and see if there's any uh, audible tonal differences that you guys can hear.
Okay, so what did you guys hear? Were you able to hear any noticeable difference in tone or sustain through the clips that I just played? Let me know down in the comments. So in my opinion, when I was listening back to the recordings, the tonal difference is kind of minimal on the recording. What I did notice was a little bit of more brightness, a little more top end. As far as improvement on sustain, um, I don't think it really translated that well over recording. And like I said before, I think it's kind of hard to tell with the way that I have this guitar set up. Like I said, I've got 9 gauge strings, super low action, and tuned down to E flat, so that could play a part. What I did notice is when I'm holding the guitar, I can feel the guitar resonate more, uh, which I believe is probably because of the added mass on the block. The Floyd Rose itself is by far the best Floyd Rose trim that I've ever played. I highly suggest if you're interested in getting a Floyd Rose or swapping out the Floyd Rose that you have in your guitar, uh, check out the Low Profile uh, 1000 series. Um, I really like it. There's something about it that I just love the way it feels. I don't know if it stays in tune a little bit better than the other ones I've tried, but it's definitely more comfortable uh, with the, the fine tuners at the end um, and kind of lower. I actually uh, hopped on the website and I ordered uh, a trem another tremolo no that fits uh, the big blocks that uh, FU Tone carries, as well as heavier springs. I like the way this feels, but I think it might be a little too light for me. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try putting maybe two of the um, heavier springs and keeping the, the one green spring. I don't know. I've seen people experiment with different uh, tension springs. So I'm going to try that first. But all in all, I'm very happy with this upgrade. Trem, the brass block, and the springs. And like I said, it does feel louder and a little bit brighter when I'm playing it acoustically. If it translates when it's plugged into an amp and going through different effects and a lot of gain, who knows. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos or guitar lessons, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, I'm RJ Ron Kilio.